Wakey, wakey time, baby. Time to get the little sleepy sleepies out of the eyes. Going to the sanctuary today, Fitness Quest 10. Absolutely love it. Hey, you, know, you always hear me talking about, you know, nicher, getting niched up, you know, the nicher, the richer. Today I have a special treat for you. We're talking to NFL long snapper, Luke Rose. I'm about to train him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pin him down for an interview to talk about what it's like to make a living. Only 32 jobs in the NFL, snapping a football. And this guy is a workout beast. You talk about beast in the weight room, woo Luke Rhodes is that guy. All right guys, I got the man, the myth, the legend in the house. Luke Rhodes is here. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I talked about him before. Here's a guy that is a long snapper for the Indianapolis Colts. He's going into year four. And uh, the most important thing about all this, he's a fellow William Mary alum. That's go right. Tribe. And uh, go tribe, <laughs> try pride forever. But uh, hey, today I want to talk about niches and what it's like as a long snapper. You only got 32 jobs, there's no backups, correct? Right. Tell me what it's like as the life of a long snapper. It's about being unknown. It's about, um, mm -hmm. you know, we found something that I was able to do and continue to perfect and something that is a specialized skill that I've I've kind of learned in the last couple years. And it's, it's a whole different experience than it was playing linebacker in college and even my first year in the NFL. It's just something that took a little bit more fine tuning as, yeah. a, as a job and a, as a, a skill, so. Well, you're an all-conference linebacker at William Mary. You're a stud, you're a workout warrior, and you still are, because I see your Instagram post. I see what you're doing all the time. I see you and your wife working all the time yep. on that stuff. Now, I'm assuming, guys, the long snapper in the NFL, 32 jobs, you thought a niche. You've probably been snapping since Pop Warner? Nope, nope. I snapped, uh... I snapped my junior year of high school a little bit, yeah, and then hadn't touched the ball really to snap until two years ago. Wait, you just picked it up and just started snapping? I always knew I could do it, and so I showed our special teams coach that I could do it. Um, our special teams coach, Tom McMahon, two years ago. Okay. And he would have me do it a little bit after practice or before practice, and then he told me to uh, practice it the one off season, two two off seasons ago, and so I did, and kind of competed for the job in training camp that year. When it comes to training, obviously, Luke, I see you do amazing things uh, in the training in the training uh, weight room and all. Tell me about some of your favorite moves. What do you love to do in the weight room? Because you're a workout warrior. If there's ever been a workout warrior, Luke Rhodes is that guy. I like to do uh, what my current programming coach uh, calls now is just like grunt work. It's like lifting the, the yoke or carrying heavy D balls. Um, I like to be on the pull up bar, power cleaning, deadlift, stuff like that. But I really just like a variety of all different things. It's just getting moving and sweating is what I like. So. You like to get after it. Yeah. Four days a week, five days a week, six days a week, how many days a week? Normally six, and then we'll throw in like a hot yoga or hot Pilates. We started doing that, go. me and my wife. You talk about specialization. It doesn't matter, by the way, what career you are. If you can specialize and you get niche in that, niche, you know, I would say the nicher, the richer. You could have a long-term career. If you get 10, 15 plus years in the NFL as a long snapper because you're consistent, the, the mark of consistency uh, is a really important thing. What about, uh, besides training, nutrition? Talk to me about your nutrition program. Ever since you did the combine program here at Fitness mm -hmm. Quest 10, you've always been solid with your nutrition. Talk to me about your current uh, nutritional program. Uh, yeah, I mean, when we were, Doing it here is really when I first realized, like, if I eat clean throughout the week, I can make a change in my body. And you know, during the week, it's a lot of um, a lot of carb, a lot of high protein, um, and I just try and keep it consistent. So whatever I'm have a taste for that week, usually it's like ground beef or chicken or or ground turkey and a lot of white rice and a little bit of vegetables. And and then when I want to, I'll go to Five Guys or McDonald's or something and, and splurge. But what's that? What's five? I don't know what that is. Five Guys and McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. It's, what is uh, that? It's our. Uh, <laughs> All right, one of the cool things about Luke and what he does is when he's training hard, a lot of times he has someone, he likes to up his game a little bit, so he brings in people that are way fitter than him, way tougher, way stronger, and that's a hard task to do. So right now I'm going to introduce his better half, Miss 
Hannah Rose right here. <laughs> Hannah, Hannah, you hey. guys often train together, right? What's it like training with uh, with Luke? Can he keep up with you? It's all about bragging rights, huh? Oh, <laughs> no doubt. I I'm always I'm always intrigued though by like couples that train together. What do you love about training together? Because you guys do it several times a week, I know. What's it like training together, and why do you do it? When we were um, like last off season, off season before that, we go back to Richmond, and that's when she was doing a lot of CrossFit and kind of made me interested in CrossFit as well, but like competing in that and like the hot box and the, the doors open, it was like, I can look at her and just be pushed a little bit harder and uh, you know, a little bit more motivated and still want to beat her. I think that's part of it. We don't, like we go our hardest when we're working out together because it is about so you're training rights. Right? Yeah. You're not like, oh, come on, lovey-dovey, yeah. not lovey-dovey. You guys are actually competing. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's, it's like a fist bump <laughs> at the end, like what you like, get? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, <laughs> one more question for you. When your playing career is done, 20 years from now, right? you have a 20 year, 20 more years in the NFL as a snapper, what do you hope to do as a career someday? Do you have another career in mind or it's like, hey, I'm just focusing on the NFL? Well, what's kind of your, your plan someday? Yeah, I mean, if Fitness Quest 10 isn't for sale in 20 years, we'll probably have to, uh, we'll probably have to find somewhere else to uh, build our own gym, which we've talked about and what we do. And we've even looked into some different ideas now, but yeah. we just haven't found the right thing. So. so fitness is your passion? Fitness is a passion, and it's something that, you know, I study in school in kinesiology, and, you know, she's got an eye for it, too, so it's... What do you do to get your mind right? Even if it's game day, if it's training day, what do you do to consistently keep your your mindset in a place of you're operating as the highest performer in sport? Mm -hmm. You're you're an NFL player. There's only 32 spots. What do you do to keep your mind right? I mean, if we're talking like just football as its own, like just knowing what my goal is in football and staying focused to that. And on game day, to me, it's it's more about during the week just training and putting in all the reps and stuff. So on game day, I'm not I'm not like nervous or, or stressed out. I just know that what I'm doing this is my job and I have to perform every day and you know that's like my focus. So it's well, every now and then to get my mind right. What I do every now and then is I put this helmet on right here and I snap up these bands right here. I snap yeah. them up and then what I do is I start snapping this band. That gets my mind right. So we go out in this weight room right now. We're gonna get our mind right right now. Are you ready to go? Let's do right. it. Let's get out of the weight room. Let's make magic happen right now, baby. Money every time. Oh, money. On the money every time is where it's all about.